No ears? No problem. Chinese researchers have successfully grown ears for five children with microtia, using a procedure that used the kids' own cells. Microtia is a congenital deformity of the ear, the severity of which ranges from structural abnormalities to a complete absence of the external ear. The typical treatment for microtia is reconstructive surgery, often through rib cartilage ear reconstruction or silicone prosthetic ears. In China, scientists grew ears via a biodegradable scaffold that replicates the patient's normal ear. Cells from the microtia ear were seeded into the scaffold and cultured for three months. The new ears were then implanted to reconstruct ears in five patients and monitored for up to two and a half years. While the idea itself is not novel, what's groundbreaking is that the scientists were able to carry out the procedure successfully in a series of patients and had long-term results to boot. Missing a body part? Keep watching. Breakthrough Nanochip heals injuries with just one touch. Researchers at Ohio State University have developed a new technology that allows the body to generate any type of cell to help heal injuries. Tissue nanotransfection involves placing a fingernail-sized nanochip on a patient's skin, adding a droplet of genetic material, and zapping it with an electrical current. The DNA is delivered through channels created by the current, and it reprograms skin cells to turn into specific cell types that can then be used in other parts of the body. When tested on a mouse with a damaged leg, researchers found vascular cells converted from skin cells formed new blood vessels that allowed the leg to heal in two weeks. The non-invasive technology was also able to generate nerve cells in the legs of brain-damaged mice. Once the cells were harvested, they were injected into the brain to help with stroke recovery. The nanochip also tested effectively in pigs and is expected to be approved for human trials within a year. Scientists are trying to grow human organs in pigs. A team of scientists from the University of California, Davis, are attempting to produce human pig embryos in order to grow human organs in pigs. To grow a human organ, such as a pancreas, in a pig, one must first remove the DNA that is responsible for growing a pig's pancreas from a fertilized pig embryo using a technique known as CRISPR gene editing. A void is created after the gene editing, and human-induced pluripotent stem cells are then injected into the embryo to fill the void. The human pig embryo, known as a chimera, is then implanted into a sow and is allowed to develop for 28 days. Then the pregnancy is terminated and the tissue removed for analysis. The chimera would develop into a normal pig, but one with a human pancreas that would be ready to be harvested for transplant. Human-induced pluripotent stem cells are adult cells that have been reprogrammed into stem cells. They can develop into any tissue in the human body, including corneas, lungs, hearts, livers, and kidneys. With pigs serving as biological incubators for human organs, scientists could potentially grow any organ when needed. However, a major concern is that the human stem cells could migrate to the pig embryo's brain, which would make it somewhat human-like. The research is highly controversial, as many are worried that growing human organs in pigs may lead to a new source of animal abuse, despite the fact that it may help to ease the shortage in organ donations in the U.S. Limitless blood supply is not too far off. It's taken nearly two decades, but scientists may finally have the recipe to create stem cells, that wellspring of life and holy grail of regenerative medicine. A Boston research team programmed human pluripotent stem cells to become endothelial cells, which typically line the inside of blood vessels. These were injected with special proteins called transcription factors, then transplanted into mice. Weeks later, the cells had multiplied, and in some cases formed a wide range of human blood cells in the mice's bodies. A second research team used blood cells from mice and injected them with a mix of transcription factors. The cells morphed into stem cells after incubating in petri dishes designed to mimic a human blood vessel environment. When injected into weak mice that had been treated with radiation, the stem cells regenerated both blood and immune cells. The mice recovered and went on to live full lifespans. 
The groundbreaking research from both teams provides hope for patients who suffer from blood cancers and other diseases. But tests need to be carried out to determine any negative effects before the procedure can go to human trials. Swedish firm can 3D print body parts. Forget about plastic surgery, say hello to 3D bioprinting. Swedish startup firm Cellink specializes in low-cost and accessible 3D bioprinting by offering bio-ink as well as 3D bioprinters. Cellink is currently focused on growing cartilage and skin cells for drug and cosmetics testing. The company makes its bio-ink, the liquid that human cells are mixed with, with cellulose from Swedish forests and alginate formed from Norwegian sea seaweed. Cell-link bio-inks run between $9 to $299, while the printers cost between $10,000 and $39,000. Health experts believe that in 10 to 20 years, bioprinting could be used to make fully functioning organs for transplant.